I have our moon what? in my right hand and Pluto in my left hand. So 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 Can I see them up here and help Pluto? So How about turn here? Alright. So you can go to the very end there. Does someone want to hold our moon? Let's see. How about my friend right here? <laughs> All right, so we have the planet, we have a dwarf planet, we have a moon, but there's something kind of important that we're missing. The sun. Do you guys think that the sun is maybe around the same size as this stuff, or they're bigger? Back to Earth. So when astronauts come back to Earth, they're inside of a rocket ship, 
And that rocket ship does sometimes kind of start to fall apart as they come back into Earth's atmosphere because we've got many layers of gas around our planet that helps protect us. That's a good thing most of the time, right? Because there are a lot of space rocks that hit Earth and most of them disintegrate in our atmosphere before they ever hit the ground. But it can be kind of difficult when you're sending a spaceship back into Earth's atmosphere, right? And so sometimes the rocket ships do kind of fall apart, but that's why they usually put a bunch of different cushioning around it that can kind of blow up and kind of protect it as it comes down. A lot of times they'll land the rocket ship in the water to kind of soften the blow. And then sometimes they'll also put parachutes. Um, so there's a lot of different things they can do to kind of protect astronauts when they come down there. Almost a total solar eclipse, 99%. One week from today, which is very exciting because a total solar eclipse only happens in the same place usually once every three or four hundred years. So we're really lucky that we get to see this in our lifetime. Fingers crossed we'll have good weather for it. But the one thing I want you guys to remember is you don't want to look at the sun unless you've got your glasses on. Now, sometimes people ask if sunglasses are similar to this. These are many thousands of times darker than sunglasses. So you cannot use sunglasses to look at the solar eclipse. You can only use solar eclipse glasses. And so once you get your solar eclipse glasses, make sure to take good care of them. They are kind of fragile. And if you scratch up this little filming part right here that goes over your eyes, then they won't work. So you just need to make sure that when you get your solar eclipse glasses from your teacher, you put them in a safe place where they're going to stay nice. And it's going to happen around 3.08, at least the maximum part is going to happen around 3.08 p.m. next Monday. So it's going to be very exciting. School is canceled. We will not be in school. Yes. We will not be at school. And we will get ahead of the All right, my friends. So we're going to go ahead and take a tour. And it's the oldest telescope that you can still look through in the United States. So let's go check it out. If you guys want, go ahead and follow me up here. We're going to make a big circle of the room. So. Oh, yes. Well, it is pretty big. And now that's the telescope is as big as this entire room. Wow. So now tell
unfortunately doesn't work anymore. So now there's a little less like a switch back there. So there were some people in Germany who made it. So we got this telescope from Germany. Oh, get them to make it? Well, so they made it in Germany and then they shipped it across the ocean, up the Mississippi River, up the Ohio River, and brought it over. Oh, yeah. 